Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the No Shot campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only melee weapons and maybe some psionics. But yeah, no explosives, no guns, nothing. It's time for Operation Wolf Killer. I decided to go for the scientist and the hidden event. It's quote unquote just hacking a resistance computer and killing all of the enemies wonderful that is going to be something that we certainly can do we're taking hawkbite with us but whom el who else is going to join us so let's see let's start that over hawkbite yes then we're taking sonar Yes, Sonar is bonded with uh, with uh, Roby, it seems. Yep, uh, Roby still needs to do negative trade recovery. That is okay. We got Divert, uh, who is um, bonded with uh, Sane, Tracy Elliot. That makes sense as well. And let's do quick feed. And who else? Well, who's going to be the sixth member? It's probably... Oh, wait a second. Sonar is built, uh, bond, bond with Zirkin. So yeah, of course, Zirkin is going to be the sixth member. Wonderful. Good. And they really should have uh, made it a bit more visible who's bonded with whom. But yeah, it doesn't matter now. So, we got ourselves... A few utility items. Zirkim over here takes a med kit. No, he does not. Uh, well, we can give him one. School Jakes are going to the um, specialists. Quick feet takes a mind shield and the battle scanner. And I think that's a pretty damn good equipped team for what we're trying to do. So let's hack this computer and get our reward. I'd love to get another scientist just so that the research speeds up. Very good. We landed in the tunnels and we got seven turns to get here. Okay. Any chance of stopping their progress. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Fair enough. As always, we're expecting hostile resistance. And as always, we're pretty much charging in at first. Sonar takes a nice uh, cover here, and we got Sane taking cover over here. Wonderful. If we're lucky, we can maybe Skulljake someone. I just saw that there had been an Archon. So before charging in wildly what are we going to deal with are we going to play that careful or are we going to go all out we're probably going to be careful for now this here is all all of uh, these uh, fields are very much um, spots where we can be revealed. So, no thank you. Already there. Stepping off. Understood. All right, Moving continuing out. to move up. Moving out. Perfect. Good. Maintaining position. We're hunkering down for now. Possible hostile contact. And hopefully these guys are going to come a little bit closer. 
So far, so good. If they moved. Okay, I'm still trying to. Yeah, that's where one of them is standing. Okay, so one of them is standing there. I think the others were standing a little bit further back. Yeah, one of them is standing there. Okay. We could go in with um, with a blade storm pull. But that would cost us again teamwork and so on. So I much rather pull them the normal way. If they're running into us, that's fine. Oh, the aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. All right. Good, let's charge in and we still got a mimic beacon if things are not going our way. Yep, things are not going our way. We got a mimic beacon. Things are definitely not going our way. Two mimic beacons to be precise. So, let's kill this guy first. There we go. Next up. I don't want to charge that far in. Good. This one is stunned. That's perfect. Oh, that's all we needed. All right, hog bite. Now nah, we're going to continue working on this guy, although it's a bit of a waste. We can school jack him next turn. Would be a bit of a waste to go and kill him or try to kill him because he's still stunned. So instead of school jacking, let's start working on him. Oh wow. Good, if he moves away or anything else happens, we're going to be fine. Good, team working into a Mimic Beacon. Then let's let's move up into full cover, to be honest. We have the option for a school jack next turn, depending on where he moves. All right. He luckily missed. All 
That's a solid hit. That's a miss. And we got one Viper that can now grab or poison spit. Yeah, unfortunately, the poison is going to pose a problem for us. Soldiers are suffering out there. We'll need to give them some time to recover when we get back. Who's got a med kit? All right, that yep, that stinks. All right, revival protocol because we need all of the turns that we can get this time. Let's kill this guy. Ooh, he blocked us. All right. Well, needless to say that I don't like that. There we go. She's going to go down very soon. Poison can theoretically spread, but uh, he has a med kit, so uh, it's not going to happen. Instead, we're combat protocoling and killing the Viper. Yeah, we're still ready to do something if needed. Um... Got another Mimic Beacon. Would that be needed, really? Hmm. Hmm. I would like to keep the teamwork, actually. There we go. That's a nice hit. Good. Next time, two, four, six. Next round, he's going to almost kill him. To make sure that he's killing them, let's use the combat protocol. So the blade storm definitely will uh, will kill. He's going to use blazing pinions, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, shocker, right? Total surprise that he's going to use blazing pinions. And that's a bind. Well, or another attempt to poison. I've been troops here. Damn it. Uh, this looks a little ugly. Damn, that stings. Good, let's charge over and make sure that this guy is going to be killed as soon as possible. Got another skull mining, which I will do in a second. Before we do that though, let's move out of the poison and let's combat protocol this guy. Very nice. Another Viper down. Oh, 
Moving in. Is he stunned? No. Yes. Wonderful. He got the little stun sign, so that was perfect. Moving in. And let's do this. There we go. Good job. Alien facility lead. That's a lot of damage. Very nice hit, by the way. Oh boy, wow, he's taking quite a beating. I love it. And there is the Blade Storm Retaliation. There we go. Spear Repeater is good. That's going to be worth quite a bit of money. Almost down to no further action. Enemy down. A small hit and we're good. What's over there? Is this triggering another pack? Away. It's not. So we're concealing and moving in. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Ooh. Take that thing no, 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 that is not good. Luckily, we concealed ourselves. Moving. Okay, we can hack the workstation next turn. The reason why I'm not hacking it right away is pretty simple, because as soon as you're hacking it, this guy will know about it and will start to move that in. We, of course, don't want that to happen. Ten four. Gremlin, medical detail. Sonar heals himself. And let's heal Divad. Ooh. Now it's time for the Snake King as well. Next turn, that is. Uh, this turn we can still use a Gremlin heal to top everybody up. I already know why I'm running two specialists in this specific run. We're getting a lot of pounding during all of those fights. Pretty intense back and forth fights. So we know that the guy is here. Okay. The Advent Network Terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Okay, we're taking a small cache of supplies. I'm trying to be greedy here. Successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Alright, we know that he's there, right? Right. Orders confirmed, moving out. Hmm. Can we somehow We can't spot them out, unfortunately. That's Not without being spotted out ourselves. I mean, yeah, we 
could give it a, could theoretically give it a go here. That's two attacks for the price of one. What else can uh, would or could we do? This turn is just as good as any, to be honest. Because the action economy against him, uh, against the Viper King, is very, very different compared to other fights. Let's see if Hogbite can do it. We're low on, um, on focus, which generally is a bad thing. Yeah, it's taking little damage because we're not on full focus yet. This here should not trigger because it can't see us. Okay. Moving all the way over here without triggering up by parries. Didn't know that Perry triggered his reaction. Is 8 protocol stacking? It is not, because it doesn't let me 8 protocol again. Closing on target position now. Getting a tiny bit further. Closer, but not too close. And hunkering down. We're ending the turn. Well, well, well. This here will trigger a reaction. But we can at least free up Hawkbite first. There you go. Are you kidding me? He is unfortunately not kidding me. Let's see if this here is going to stun him. It's not. Well, we can do something about being frozen, which is mainly counter healing. Shall we give him some extra teamwork? Let's think about it. We need to get rid of the Frozen first. Sane, however, cannot really do something. So I would much rather like to... to deal damage, because that's the only way of, uh, of surviving against these creatures. We gotta continuously deal damage until they are leaving. That's a lot of damage. They hit the plate. I need a bit kid here. Mm -hmm. 
How could I maybe sneak there? Okay, that's going to be difficult. No, that's going to see him. Okay. The furthest I can sneak is to here without triggering an action from him. Binding will deal damage, unfortunately. This is luckily not dealing any damage. Okay, um, because we're out of line of sight. And this here is finally going to free him. Very nice, disoriented and it's going to flee. And there's the blade storm. Just another nice hit. Six to eight, okay. Also six to eight. Yeah, we're too far away. That's not gonna work. All right. Nice little hit. Unfortunately, not stunning it. And it appears that really every single time that we're going to fight um, against one of them, the whole team is just getting shafted. Okay. Holding. There's still one more pack, probably like on the left hand side ish. Status confirmed. Are down and the area is secure. Okay. Yeah, yet another mission with five injured um, folks. Boy, oh boy, that oh, stinks. Every single time we're coming back and everybody's on their knees. Mentally, physically. Oh boy. I feel bad for the guys. It's a uh, it's a fearing victory every single time. Hello, Commander. Good, we're down to 23 days, that's fantastic. And I think we can start healing again. Intel is good. We're, we're okay on supplies. One or two days, just so that we got the team back together. Nice, we got Void Rift, that is fantastic. I like it. That means we can theoretically trigger all of the mental effects with Void Rift. So, it's a great rider effect. Maybe even mind controlling them. Got another Void Rift. Fantastic. Okay, in terms of healing, are we okay? People doing fine? Yeah, we got enough, so... Time to now go back and maybe start expanding just a tiny bit more. Since ages we had that radio relay over here, never really build it, and we gotta improve the income and also kind of get to that next... to that next uh, Eastern Europe contact. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. Uh, that's a smash and grab mission again with the loss, um, but we are theoretically ready. Operation Cryptic Knife could give us a few 
more bits of valerium and alloys, which is exactly what we would need. And overall, here we're doing fine. Haven't really used any, uh, we haven't really any freed up engineers at this point. Now, this guy needs to stay in here. Bond level up is available. Might want to do that afterwards, to be honest. Yeah, no, uh, we're not going to do that bond. Yeah, we probably are going to do that afterwards. Seven more days until we get the first experimental armor, that is good. Yeah, and powered armor really would uh, make a huge difference now. It also upgrades Hogbite's um, melee attack. That would be good. And here we're probably going to to get to the chosen next. Yeah, two more days and then we're reducing the avatar progress even further. That's good. I like it. That's actually pretty damn good. So everything seems to be working relatively well. I, I'm... I am very pleased. We got a Templar upgrade here, but yeah, we don't have the necessary funds. And I would like to save the money uh, to rather have enough alloys and um, probably 500 or 600 supplies to upgrade our armor. That is much more impactful than having the Templar upgrade. Yeah, and that brings us to the end of today's session, guys. If you enjoyed what you have seen, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.